Oh, I wonder who sent them. Beats me. Oh, it's so exciting, a secret admirer. I can't wait to find out who it is. Well, if you do, let me know. I'd like to meet him. I had to fight you off if I ever work out who's sending them. No way. Not if it's who I think it is. Not that he's not a nice guy or anything. He's just a little geriatric for my taste. Oh, okay. Well, I've been doing a little bit of detective work, and I'm pretty sure it's Dr. McKenna. Oh, oh no! Jamie! Will you marry me? Yes. Can't get married today though. Registry office just closed. Tomorrow. Oh you... no, I can't tomorrow. I've got to tidy my handbag. <laughs> oh, you look fantastic. Well, you're looking pretty good yourself. Oh, you sent me the flowers. Could it have been anyone else? <laughs> oh, uh, this is Jamie Forrest. We've known each other since kindy. Uh, this is Sam, Gina, Steve. Yeah. You meet husbands at kindergarten. No, they tell you, eh? <laughs> and this is Marge. Hello, Jamie. How do you do? <gasps> Oh, what's happened? Are you all right? You will be. Can you play to doctor, please? Yeah, hey, I'm okay, Mum. Uh, I just need to sit down for a while. Here they are. Sit on this, mate. Chris Warner to Sam 1, please. Chris Warner to Sam 1. What is it? I don't know, Marge. Oh, I can't believe I did that. That patient could be in pain for days. It went right out of my head. I only meant to sleep for a minute. I'm really sorry. Well, why are you so tired? Are you sick? No. I just haven't been sleeping well, that's all. Oh, is something worrying you? Is it work or is it personal? No, it's nothing. Look, this sort of thing can't happen. Are you sure you don't want to talk about it? It's okay. It's Thanks. up to you. Look, Carmen... I'm sorry, but I have to say this. You know you're on probation here? Yeah. One more warning and it's out of my hands. I'll have to terminate your contract. Okay, I want you to tell me what you feel, whether it's sharp or dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Oh, sharp. Well, 11 out of 10 for fingertip sensation. Ooh, that's bright. Yes, it is. Well, that'll do for now. Well, you do what you have to do, Doc. Thank you. Ah, uh, Ellie, could uh, me and Daryl have a little chat? Yeah, certainly I'll be back after you've finished. Oh, I was lucky she was there when it happened. Wasn't it? So you felt woozy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you feel now? Perfectly fine. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Yeah, it uh, certainly seems that whatever caused your little episode is gone now. Well, yeah, I, I probably needed to sit for a while, like I said. I'd be really interested in doing some blood tests for comparison with your others. Oh, uh, look, you've done so much already. Um, let's leave it for now, eh? Um, and if it happens again, I'll come back. That's your decision. Yeah, I feel like I'm wasting your time. Um, I'll go. Bye. Oh, we fell in love at the Dingle Dell Sandpit. That is not true. I didn't fall in love with you until you let me finger paint your face. Oh, don't tell me that. I distinctly remember telling Mum I wanted to marry you the day your parents <laughs> moved next door. You two were next door neighbours as well. That's so gorgeous. Oh my God, practically living together at four years old. <laughs> Just about until Jamie's dad was transferred. We cried the day he left me. Oh, you did. Till I told you I was going to come back and marry you, and I gave him my favourite pencil case to prove it. <laughs> So what do you do when you're not chasing your dream girl, man? You got a job? Yep, same as you. Ambulance officer, Jamie Forrest, actual service. I'm just relieving here temporarily. Yeah. Hey, you're not one of the finalists for the... Uh... The ambulance calendar. Oh, man, you were at the tryouts the other yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, the guys down at Central put me up to it. Yeah, I know the feeling. Hey, welcome to the smoke, dude. This is so beautiful. When you're looking for a bridesmaid, you know, you can call it. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, Jamie, you, do you remember this? Oh... Get out of here! I think I'm gonna cry. Just the man I wanted to see. You still talking to me? Yeah, of course. Sorry about before. I went a bit off the deep end. But you have to stick up for your mates, eh? Yeah. She was out of line, but then she wouldn't be Mags if she wasn't. She's um left town. She said to give you her regards and apologies. Thanks. 
So, uh, what do you want to see me about? Ken, my back man. I've worked out a regime for him. See what you think. This is in lieu of surgery, right? Mm -hmm. He's going to give it his best shot. Good stuff. He'd be crazy not to go with this. Well, he's all yours. How do you make that out? Well, in case I'm not around when he comes in for a follow-up. Why shouldn't you be? Well, I'm only relieving here, remember? Theoretically. Yeah. Well, you hang on to them. Well, what's our file them and then we both know where they are? G'day. Cool. Bring any grapes? No, sorry. What's that? Gunk out of my lung. Gross, eh? Truly. Attractive. So, you sore? Nah, only a pneumothorax and a bust ankle. What? Punctured lung. Mm, they give you anything? Pethidine. Make you have it so you don't complain, eh? <laughs> You're right. Tough guys like you don't need it for pain or anything, all right? Mm. I go up and see my mum, all right? I'll leave you guys to it. Thanks for bringing me. Yeah, thanks. I hate hospitals. What do you want to talk about? Did Stu tell you about the accident? No. Suppose you had to be there. Want to sign my cast? You're the first. Oh, it's OK, thanks. You can use any colour you want. Terrific. Hey. What? Pour me some juice. No, no, that sounds fine. OK. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. My pleasure. Bye-bye. Hey, can I have a word? Yes, caller. Pardon? That was the radio station that helped with Josh's fundraising. They want me on talkback, answering questions on health issues. Oh, why? What do you want? I know I shouldn't be asking this, but what did you decide about Daryl and Nielsen? Mm, nothing. There wasn't a thing wrong with him. Not clinically, anyway. So how do you explain his collapsing in the car park? Petrol fumes. Unless he's been taking acting lessons. <laughs> Nobody thought he was acting last time he was admitted. What makes you say that? Just a hunch. The guy has been sick. He's probably very scared. Well, it was lucky you were there then. You're going to make a habit of it. Don't be so stupid. <laughs> Someone stole your lolly, little girl. I wish. What's the matter? Oh, everything. Oh, I'm such a duh. I just lay down for a minute. But... Oh, no. Who found you? Jackie. <laughs> it gets worse. My lady's drip tissued and Jackie found it. Bama. Oh, she was ropeable. She's given me a formal warning. For that? I would drip tissue all the time. Oh, I know, but this could have been really serious. Sure, but it wasn't, was it? <laughs> Jack boot mine away. <laughs> I don't blame them with classes like me around. <laughs> Look, where there's good nurses, there's dragons. I'd be surprised if Carrie didn't rip into me. I've been hopeless lately. What's up? <laughs> Everything. Broken heart, rejection, the whole caboodle. Jackie was just the last straw. <laughs> um, it's not fear, is it? <laughs> And then he said, uh, you just do whatever you have to do, Doc. I nearly offered to put him down. Aren't we breaching patient confidentiality here just a tad? Oh, he wasn't sick. He was trying it on for sympathy. He really got to you, didn't he? Well, it wasn't for my benefit. He is a low-life con artist, sliming around, taking advantage of people's better nature. Who's? The nurses. Which nurse in particular? He swooned in the car park at Allison's feet. She brought him into the clinic. She should have run him over. The guy's a schlep. <laughs> I like it. What? The fact that you still care about Alice in the way that you do. She's lovely. So, uh, have you thought any more about going full time? No, McKenna wouldn't offer it to me. Which is just as well. Why? Because I turn him down. 
You know how I feel about the clinic and about him. Besides, I might have a better offer. You could walk into Sunderland's position like that. And see McKenna every day. I couldn't face it, neither could he. Oh, rubbish. Uh, feel like I strolled around the lake? Yeah, sure. Mm. Hey, um, think about it, eh? Michael likes you. He does. Mm. You're being oversensitive. Oh, well, if the house is only worth what these valuations say, I'm not going to have much left over, am I? Well, they're just estate agent valuations, Mum. I mean, if someone loves the place, they'll pay more. <sighs> Thank goodness you're here. I'll go batty without you. Yeah. You shouldn't be doing this. You should be resting. All right. Oh, goodness. Hello. Hi, Marge. Come through. Uh, Daryl's through there. Oh, hello. Uh, come in, come in, sit down. Did I get you a cup of coffee? Oh, not for me, Marge. Oh, yeah, thanks, Mum. Uh, well, just a quick one, Ta. You feeling better? Oh, I feel like such a wimp. Thanks for today. That's all right. Yeah, I just thought I'd come round to see if you... I thought I'd come round to see if you are feeling all right. Mm -mm, I'm fine. Good. That, that's good. I was worried about you. Yes? Do I look like a nurse? Stupid old fart. Oh, no, heart's fine. It's my legs, nurse. Hey, mate. Oh, I forgot the grapes, sorry. I don't want grapes, I want a gun. What for? Him. He rings a bell all night, and when he finally goes to sleep, he sounds like a rat caught in a sawmill. You ever heard anyone snore around, grind their teeth? Morning. Oh, good morning, sister. Yeah, so how are you? Any better? Yeah, great. They're going to clamp up the tube this afternoon and rip it out tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Wuss. Won't hurt as much as my leg. Mm. Seen Rach? Ah, uh, no, not since yesterday. Anyway, mate, I've got a split okay. I'll drop by the Sava. You reckon she wants to come back? I don't know. She signed my plaster. It's a good sign, eh? Yeah. If you see her, um, tell her to come in. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right, Mr. Holloway. Carrie, I work. Excuse me, I won't be a moment. I see you're conducting job interviews this morning. That's right. Well, I thought we were already up to full strength. We've been through all this, Michael. The agency nurses we're using are very expensive. It's far more economical to employ one other permanent member of staff. My, we are getting good at unilateral decision-making, aren't we? When you appointed me as Director of Nursing, I understood it was my function to control staffing levels. So, unless I'm labouring under a misconception, I'd like to keep interviewing. Now, if you don't mind. Well, don't go overboard, that's all. Me, Dr McKenna. Mr. Holloway, sorry to keep you waiting. Michael, are you free? Oh, it's still not working. It just breaks my heart. I was just having a chat last night with Melanie about her taking over from Dr. Sunderland. Mm -hmm. But uh, she seems to think you'd have some kind of problem with that. Uh -huh. So I was just wondering if you could reassure her. She, um, <laughs> well, she seems to think you don't like her. To be perfectly honest, Chris, she's quite right. Look, I don't want to hurt her feelings, but if she did apply, I couldn't consider it. I'm sorry. I hope she's got the face of an angel and likes to boogie on there. Who? The new nurse. Oh, good thinking. I want him or her to be professional, punctual and clean-shaven. That you and their nurse, but... Oh, get off. Does Carrie make you tea? No, but she would have ripped into a sleeping nurse much the same way you ripped into Carmen. Has she been running around whinging? No, actually. I found her in a cupboard crying after you finished with her. Oh, no. I'll get into you, Jax. No! What would you know? Know the basics. That threatening and bellowing at someone and reducing them to a quivering heap isn't the best way to enhance their performance. I had to be firm. I asked if I could help, but she wouldn't let me. Yeah. Well, it's pretty hard to open up to someone who threatens you with a sack. Uncool. Can you believe it? He made me sign his plaster. Hey, probably did him the world of good. You know, they're taking out his tube tomorrow, probably because you made him feel so good. Oh, fabulous. You guys keep it down, I'll make you some coffee. Do you want some? Yes, please. Yeah. What's wrong? You got a hangover? Uh, headache. Terrible. Anyway, I saw him today and he'd sort of like you to go back. Oh, no. Oh, come on. His heart's in the right place. Yeah, there's tubes holding it there. Where's his brain? Oh, come on. One more time. For me? Rat. Oh. Yeah. 
Daryl, you okay? Oh, God. I, I can't feel... I couldn't feel the cup. Nick had his headphones on, a magazine on his face, and Mr. Quigley was squirting toothpaste out of his tube trying to get his attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor kid. We need a patient compatibility specialist. You want the job? Impossible. I think Judge is. True. <laughs> you ride bikes, Steve? Better than Nick. <laughs> I also used to race the cats, and that's good too. I did too. Hey, look. There's a public race coming up. They supply the carts. You want to go? Where, where? Um, excuse yes. me. Yes! So, did you like him? Me. Like a man who sends van loads of flowers, never gets over his childhood sweetheart, and rescues people for a living? Yep. But it's you he wants to marry. Oh, no, we're just, we're just friends, that's all. Sure, sure. Tell me that after the honeymoon. Oh, shower time. Let's both go first. Yeah, I just gotta open this. I got it. I got it! What? The job in Switzerland. Switzerland? What job? It's a gift. Locum work in a private general practice near the mountains. One week on and one week off. We can work together one week and go skiing the next. You'll love it. Yeah, good. Except, um... I don't remember getting a job in Switzerland. Well, you're very experienced. They'll snap you up. I thought you hated the concept of private medicine. Do you want to swan off to Europe and do it permanently? No, this will be an extended holiday. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll, um, I'll just talk to Michael tomorrow. I'll say, um, sorry, mate, I, I don't want to play anymore. No, I, I want to go off to Switzerland and be a ski bunny with Melanie. I, I don't know whether I've just grown out of that sort of thing or maybe I'm just committed to my job. Committed or in a rut? I really hoped you wouldn't do this. I should have known better. You're going to take it, aren't you? I spent months trying to wrangle this. I'm not about to give it up now. Months. Thanks for keeping me in the picture. So I'm not stuck to that bottle thing tomorrow. That means I'm out of your eh? Shh, for a couple of minutes. I can just listen. Well? Huh? I was looking good. You might even be able to go home in a couple of days. G'day, truck footer. Hey, Alison, I guess who's just been admitted? Don't know who. Daryl Nielsen looks terrible. Good job. Got any free grub? Look, you give me my 100 bucks for silence upon him, then I might throw in a peanut brownie. Had any luck with Rachel yet? Came and visited. Might come back too. Look what she did. Oh, it's lovely. How do you make people fall in love with you? <laughs> well. Uh, you write them beautiful letters. Lena and I do it all the time. That's how we keep our romance so alive. What's the point in writing to someone who only lives up the road? Peasant. History's great lovers have won their fairest hearts by expressing exquisite emotion through finely crafted prose. Banana or Hanzac biscuit, Mr. Quigley? What are you doing? Um, I just thought it would look quite nice on an angle. Can you give me a hand? <coughs> Great. Is that more to your liking? Yeah, thanks. Oh, good. Have a look at this CV. Tell me if you'd like this nurse on staff. Oh, she scores well in exams, doesn't she? Exceedingly. Do you think she'd do? She hasn't had much experience. Hasn't done any postgrad. We could only use her on the wards. Well, we all had to start somewhere. What were the other applicants like? Oh, a couple might have been suitable with a push. <laughs> well, if you like it so much, why ask me? I mean, you're the boss. You have who you like. True. But I think senior staff should collaborate when they can. Bye. Bye. We've always been great together in bed, haven't we? I mean, there's passion there, isn't there? Yeah. Our sex has always been great, no matter what's going on between us. Well, doesn't that count for something? Yeah. And no. I'm, I mean, this whole Switzerland thing proves that we want different things. And neither of us are prepared to compromise, don't you see? 
I see you wanting to run away because things are getting a bit tough. If I was running away, it wouldn't be because I couldn't hack the pace. It would be because you, true to form, are clinging. You are still possessive and you are suffocating this relationship. Well, I'll do something about it. Yeah, like what? Well, counselling anything. Oh, it's a bit late for that, isn't it? You can't leave, Mel. I have given up so much. I have caused so much pain for you. If you leave, then what's it all for? You are blaming me because of Alison? Reneging on marrying her was your decision. I kept out of it precisely so that you could never blame me for that. Don't do it, Mel. You are hopeless. You only want me to stay around so that you can look good in front of your friends. It'd be a bit of a have all round, wouldn't it? Be honest. So what happens next? We'll do a CAT scan tomorrow, which should make things clearer. Oh, that's a bit heavy duty, isn't it? Uh, not really, just routine. I'll pop in later and check on you. Worried. Yeah. The, um... Oh, headaches and uh, high blood pressure I can handle, but this business with my hands... I was just hoping the symptoms wouldn't come back, you know? Is it the same as yesterday in the car park? No, no, it's different. Uh, what if it is multiple sclerosis? There's no cure, is there? Whatever it is, I'll be here for you. I promise. Is it you or is it me? Lately I've been lost, but since I think the change is what I need. Looking for a chance for the dream Shining and street Taking time to hold my place Yesterday's another place Just living for the times we've seen When the writing on the wall Says I'll be Shining and street Shortland Street was made with the help of your broadcasting fee, so you can see more of New Zealand on air.